The Philadelphia Phillies have extended a contract to one of their bullpen arms for three more years. Welcome back to Clem Hawks. I'm Gillis TV. And if you're new to the channel, enjoy anything MLB related news, rumors, injuries, whatever there is in the MLB, we'll have it covered here on Clem Hawks. Thank you guys for all the support of late. We are on our way to 5,000 subscribers. Now, let's get into this. The Philadelphia Phillies have signed lefty reliever Jose Alvarado to a three-year contract per a team announcement. The deal keeps Alvarado in Philadelphia through at least the 2025 season and includes a club option for 2026. Alvarado is represented by OL Baseball Group. According to Daniel Alvarez Montes of Extra Base, Alvarado will earn $9 million in each of the 2024 and 2025 seasons with a 50k signing bonus. The 2026 club option is for $9 million with a 500k buyout. Alvarado and the club agreed to a $3.45 million salary for the 2023 season to avoid arbitration, effectively making this a 3-year $22 million contract a two-year at 18.55 extension still. It's a three-year contract for luxury tax purposes, meaning the Phillies will be taxed on a 7.33 AAV for 2023, as opposed to the previous $3.45 million figure. On the other hand, this also lowers the tax figure for the 2024 and 2025 season compared to the 9.275 figure it would have been if you structured a two-year deal. So the Phillies go out, get a guy that's been pretty decent in their bullpen last year, and in his career, he's been a pretty good bullpen arm. And this just locks him up, you know, coming from Tampa Bay back in 2021, going to the Phillies there. He's played pretty decent for the Phillies organization, going 11-3 and in that time frame. With his first year at 4.20 ERA in 64 games. And then the next season 3.18 in 59 games. Has a lot of playoff experience. That's one thing that is good about Jose Alvarado as well. Now let's get back into this a bit. Alvarado who is 28 in May. Is coming off a phenomenal 2022 season. That saw him post a 3.18 ERA across 51 innings of work. While that figure is good for a solidly above average ERA of 129, digging a little deeper reveals that Alvarado posted a dazzling 1.92 FIP last season, the fourth best in baseball minimum of 50 innings pitch. The discrepancy between Alvarado's run prevention and his underlying metrics likely come from the inflated .340 BAB IP that stands well above his career 302 mark. The, the rare lefty who can touch triple digits with his fastball, Alvarado's success came in large part of from a 37.9% strikeout rate, which stood seventh in baseball among the last, or at least 50 innings pitch. So Alvarado's just this guy who, you know, can help a team. He has the experience. He's still young. He still has his prime left. He still has his 29s, 30s, mid, or lower 30s. So locking him up for three years, you know, he will be 31 at the end of it, or turning 31, I should say, at the end of his contract, where if he puts these numbers up, he's probably guaranteed another three-year contract. And for $9 million for a guy that can put up these numbers, you don't see that very often. That's pretty good for Jose Alvarado and the Phillies, where it's a team-friendly deal in a sense, not much incentives to it. I, I believe it was 50k signing bonus per year, and then of course a 500k buyout if they buy him out in that last year. But it is a great deal for the Philadelphia Phillies, who keep that bullpen intact, who was pretty good all playoffs long. And they hope to get back there. And Jose Alvarado will be one of the guys to anchor that bullpen in those crucial times. 
Alvarado's success came from more than just strikeouts. However, as a sinker baller, Alvarado also managed to keep the ball on the ground at an impressive 56.1% rate. Only Johan Juren of the Twins had a higher ground ball rate while striking out at least 30% of the batters faced. While no pitcher who struck up batters at a high clip, then Alvarado induced ground balls rate at even 50%. That mix of strikeouts and ground balls is a strong recipe for success, and by signing Alvarado to a semi-long-term deal, the Phillies are indicating confidence in his ability to continue his success past his 30th birthday. Like I said, he will be 30 at the end of his contract. Early in the offseason, the top end of the free agent market exploded with Robert Suarez and Rafael Montero signing early for surprising Lee guarantees in re-signing with their previous clubs. Suarez secured $46 million from the Padres, while Montero received $34.5 from the Astros. Taylor Rogers, meanwhile, landed a $33 million guaranteed in San Francisco. Those figures all outstrip Alvarado's guaranteed by a considerable amount, but the $18.55 million in New money surpasses the guarantees of free agent lefties who signed later in the offseason as Matt Strom at $15 million, Andrew Chafin at $6.25 million, and Matt Moore at $7.55. Given how Alvarado's deal stacks up well against fellow relievers in his service bracket like Ryan Presley, Houston Street, and Daniel Bard, taking this deal is an understandable decision for him. While there's risk he continues to dominate as he did in 2022. The Phillies are risking that his struggles with injuries and command resurfaces from earlier in his career and limits his abilities going forward. This is the second extension at the back of the Phillies bullpen in as many days as the club agreed to a deal with Serenity Dominguez yesterday that could keep Dominguez in Philadelphia through the 2025 season with these deals. The Phillies have locked up a pair of exciting high-octane arms who can be penciled in for late-inning duties along Strom and Gregory Soto for the next few seasons. Having also added Craig Kimball to their late-inning mix for the 2023 season last month, the Phillies appear to have turned a bullpen that was long been considered an area of weakness for the club into a strength as they attempt to return the World Series last series after last year's surprise postseason run. It was a fairy tale run last year, and you know the bullpen was kind of to blame in that some starting pitching issues in the World Series, but it was a great run by the Philadelphia Phillies, and they just need to keep that going. The momentum's there. The team knows what it takes to win now. It will be fun to see what the Phillies can do. But hey, I'm Gillis TV. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm on out of here.